Hey, is your old iMac beeping at startup or locking up randomly and then you can't do anything but shut it down then it won't start back up properly or run for very long? Well, I'm going to show you a super simple tip uh, that I needed almost no tools for to fix mine. Uh, it didn't cost me any money. So here's the no money way to fix it. I tried like three or four different keyboard sequences that they said online, you know, like hold down certain buttons during the startup to see if that will help. But the problem was my computer wasn't even getting to the startup sequence. It was just locking itself out before it would even get power. Like it would, it with power plugged in, it would just go beep, beep, like I showed you. And then if I could get past that, it would get to like this screen, but I'd get nowhere. It would just be locked. I couldn't do anything. So I'd unplug it, restart it, try the same thing, get a series of beeps. So if yours is doing that, this is how I fix it for absolutely free. All right, let me show you how I fixed it. First, unplug it, okay? There you go, stop beeping at me, buddy. And then what you're gonna wanna do is turn this thing around. And for reference, this is a mid-2015 27 inch. Uh, this has the removable RAM window back here, this little trap door that you're gonna need to access. So the easiest way to do it is you pull this power cord out, okay? And then that's just giving you a little bit more room to get to. Let me see if I can. There is a button in, under there. You see it? That little button is what you wanted to uncover. Now, I have a hard time pressing it in with just my finger. You might be able to. What you're trying to do when you're hitting that button that I just showed you is it pops this thing open. Now, I've got this little tool that I bought off the internet. Uh, it came in this little pack here. I use this for all my MacBook stuff um, or, or Apple stuff. What I got, what I do is I just push on it. You could probably use a pen. You kind of need to support the, just see my hand here, you kind of need to support the front of the iMac so it doesn't tilt. And this comes out, this is just a little plate and all these little things here, you see all those little metallic looking pieces? That's like all tiny little springs. So it's just springs in and out. So when I was researching online, a lot of things came back with like a series of keyboard uh, attempts that you could hold down during startup to see if it would bypass the issue or run like a safe mode, but it wouldn't. The problem ended up being that one of the RAM cards back here, I'm sorry, I can't get really good lighting, but the mount is in the way. Um, one of the RAM cards here, was dirty or off place a little bit and i'll show you and i'll show you how to drop those ram cards out of there and clean them real easy uh you don't have to buy new ones these little ears here they kind of push out it's hard for the camera to focus on those little things but you kind of push them outward and then while you're pushing them outward just this drops down there's four ram slots back there okay Let's see if i can get a little bit better lighting on that you can see there's two ram cards one, two, and then two extra RAM slots above it. This can actually take four different RAM cards. To, I think mine were in the top two, uh, and the bottom two were open. So all I did was pull them out. They pull right out after they're, this is released right like that. They just pull slide, slide them straight out. They kind of fit in those little rails. You can see the, let's see if I can point at it. You can see those little rails. They just slide in and out of those things. So this is your RAM, one of them at least. And now you can tell what kind of RAM you have. Uh, mine was running two 4 gig RAMs. And I'm actually going to upgrade this. Um, but you don't have to. My issue was that these were just dirty or not making good contact. So what I did is I grabbed a real small paintbrush that was clean. And I brushed all those connections off. Just dry. I didn't do anything but other than just brush off all the little connections. And then I slid them back in. So if you want to see how those go back in, you just grab them the same way they came out. Okay, the gold piece is going in. The short side would be going on the, the, the shorter of the gold bars would be going on the right-hand side. Now, I moved mine, I believe, from the top two slots to the bottom two slots. And this takes a little bit of finagling because all this, this mount is always in your way when you're working on this thing. It takes a little bit of a push to get it to click. And then get the other one in there it's easier when you're not holding the camera get it to click and then you push this back up get the ears to pop in you can physically usually hear them kind of pop in there grab this this just kind of pushes in because it's all little tiny springs those little metal tabs a lot easier to do with two hands a lot easier to do with hands. There you go. So now that we've got the RAM reinstalled, we're gonna plug this back in. All right, don't forget to plug it into the wall, otherwise it won't do anything. 
Sometimes they start up on their own. Sometimes you need to hit the power button. I don't know. Some of these older machines kind of have a mind of their own. This one seems to want the power button method. And now I'm essentially running twice as fast of a machine as I just was with what I assume was the factory. And now I'm basically running twice as fast as a machine as I was with what I assume may have been the factory four gigabyte cards uh, from 2015 area. So I just upgraded uh, nine years down the road here. We've got 16 gigabytes running in it. And uh, now we'll just see if she starts up and runs. Looking good. All right. So far, so good. I had an issue with the old RAM. I don't know if it was dirty or if it's faulty, uh, but these had to get moved into different slots in there uh, so that I could get it to run. I don't know what happened when they were in the top two slots. Uh, this thing was just beeping at startup, wasn't working. But now I have, like I said, twice as fast as a machine as I used to have. And we're, uh, we're good to go. If you're into fixing your own stuff, follow my channel, Torque and Twisted. That's what I do. I'm a DIY person that likes to fix my own stuff. Sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.